Usage. Let's move on to communications. Communications is when a company wants to communicate with a customer. And when speaking on this topic, I like to talk about signs to start with. Because I think if you look at signs out in the world, you start to see a lot of the problems that companies encounter when they communicate with people. Because let's face it, signs are really institutions communicating something to individuals. And you know, companies, when they communicate with customers, they often do it in ambiguous and contradictory ways. And Let me give you another example in a more traditional business context. This is the placard outside of the second floor elevator bay at a hotel I stayed at in New Jersey. Uh, I was with a client all day. It was a long day. I check into the hotel after dinner. Uh, and then I get off at the second floor, and I look at this sign to find my room. Now, now here's the problem. The front desk assigned me room 225. <laughs> now, seriously, folks, I stood there looking at this sign <laughs> for probably about five minutes because I was just convinced that I was tired and I was reading it wrong, and I was too sheepish to go down to the front desk and tell them that they assigned me a room that doesn't exist. In the end, this was cognitive effort that translated into physical effort because I ended up just walking all the way down the hall this way. I didn't find room 225. Then I walked all the way this way, and I actually found it. It existed. Um, now, here's an important point. Do you think that that alone would have dissuaded me from staying at this hotel again? Probably not. Let's face it, probably not. But here's how I want you to think about this. Every time someone interacts with a business, they have in their head what I call a brand loyalty account. And every time that customer encounters high effort in the experience, it's like a debit to that brand loyalty account. Whenever they experience low effort, when they get the gift of time and convenience, it's like a credit to that brand loyalty account. Over time, those credits and debits start to accumulate, and that's what can start to tip the scale. So if I had this situation on top of waiting in a long line at the front desk to check in, ordering room service only to find that it's delivered incorrectly so I have to call back and have it re-delivered. If it's on top of all of those things, the debits start to accumulate, it tips the scale, and I start to say to myself, you know what, this isn't a hotel I'm gonna come back to, or at the very least, it's not one that I'm gonna recommend. And that's an important point to remember, and that's why you've gotta be on the lookout for both the significant and the small drivers of effort in the experience, because these things add up.